Green rust is a generic name for various green crystalline chemical compounds containing iron and iron cations, the hydroxide, HO- anion, and another anion such as carbonate chloride or sulfate in a layered double hydroxide structure. The most studied varieties are Carbonate green rust, Gr CO2-3, Fe2 plus 4, Fe3 plus 2, Ho minus 12, 2 plus CO2-3 2 H2O, 2 minus Chloride green rust, Gr Cl minus, Fe2 plus 3, Fe3 plus, Ho minus 8 plus Cl minus NH2O minus Sulfate green rust, Gr SO2-4, Fe2 plus 4, Fe3 plus 2, Ho minus 12, 2 plus SO2-4 2 H2O, 2 minus. Other varieties reported in the literature are bromide bridge minus, fluoride F minus, iodide I minus, nitrate NO minus 3, and selenate. Green rust was first recognized as a corrosion crust on iron and steel surfaces. It occurs in nature as the mineral fogarite. Topic: <inaudible> Structure. The crystal structure of green rust can be understood as the result of inserting the foreign anions and water molecules between brucite-like layers of iron (2) hydroxide, iron (2 hydroxide). The latter has an hexagonal structure, with layer sequence ACBACB, where A and B are planes of hydroxide ions, and C those of Fe2 plus iron ferrous cations. In the green rust, some Fe2 plus cations get oxidized to Fe3 plus iron ferric. Each triple layer ACB, which is electrically neutral in the hydroxide, becomes positively charged. The anions then intercalate between those triple layers and restore neutrality. There are two basic structures of green rust type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is exemplified by the chloride and carbonate varieties. It has a rhombohedral crystal structure similar to that of pyroorite. The layers are stacked in the sequence Akbibakjacibaka. Where A, B, and C represent Ho minus planes, A, B, and C are layers of mixed Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus cations, and I, J, and K are layers of the intercalated anions and water molecules. The C crystallographic parameter is 22.5 to 22.8 A for the carbonate, and about 24 A for the chloride. Type II green rust is exemplified by the sulfate variety. It has a hexagonal crystal structure, with layers probably stacked in the sequence Akbayabsha. Topic: Chemical properties. In oxidizing environment, green rust generally turns into Fe3+ oxyhydroxides, namely alpha Fe, gothite, and gamma Fe, lepidocrysite. Oxidation of the carbonate variety can be retarded by wetting the material with hydroxyl containing compounds such as glycerol or glucose, even though they do not penetrate the structure. Some variety of green rust is stabilized also by an atmosphere with high CO2 partial pressure. Sulfate green rust has been shown to reduce nitrate NO3 and nitrite NO2 in solution to ammonium NH4, with concurrent oxidation of Fe2 to Fe3. Depending on the cations in the solution, the nitrate anions replace the sulfate in the intercalation layer, before the reduction. It was conjectured that green rust may be formed in the reducing alkaline conditions below the surface of marine sediments and may be connected to the disappearance of oxidized species like nitrate in that environment. Suspensions of carbonate green rust and orange gamma Fe in water will react over a few days, produce a black precipitate of magnetite. Topic: Occurrence. Iron and steel corrosion 
Green rust compounds were identified in green corrosion crusts that form on iron and steel surfaces, in alternating aerobic and anaerobic conditions, by water containing anions such as chloride, sulfate, carbonate, or bicarbonate. They are believed to be intermediates in the oxidative corrosion of iron to form iron oxyhydroxides ordinary brown rust. The green rust may be formed either directly from metallic iron or from iron hydroxide iron 2 hydroxide. Soil On the basis of Mossbauer spectroscopic analysis, green rust minerals are suspected to occur as minerals in certain bluish-green soils that are formed in alternating redox conditions, and turn ochre once exposed to air. The green rust has been conjectured to be present in the form of the mineral fogarite. <laughs> Biologically mediated formation Hexagonal crystals of green rust, carbonate and or sulfate have also been obtained as a byproducts of bioreduction of ferric oxyhydroxides by dissimilatory iron reducing bacteria such as Schwannula putrefaciens that couple the reduction of Fe3+ with the oxidation of organic matter. This process has been conjectured to occur in soil solutions and aquifers. In one experiment, a 160 m suspension of orange lepidocrysite gamma φ in a solution containing formate HCO incubated for three days with a culture of S. putrefaciens, turned dark green due to the conversion of the hydroxide to Gr CO2 in the form of hexagonal platelets with diameter approximately 7 micrometers. In this process, the formate was oxidized to bicarbonate HCO-3 which provided the carbonate anions for the formation of the green rust. The live bacteria were shown to be necessary for the formation of the green rust. <laughs> <laughs> Laboratory preparation Topic. Air oxidation methods Green rust compounds can be synthesized at ordinary ambient temperature and pressure, from solutions containing iron cations, hydroxide anions, and the appropriate intercalatory anions, such as chloride, sulfate, or carbonate. The result is a suspension of ferrous hydroxide iron 2 hydroxide in a solution of the third anion. This suspension is oxidized by stirring in air, or bubbling air through it. Since the product is very prone to oxidation, it is necessary to monitor the process and exclude oxygen once the desired ratio of Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus is achieved. One method first combines an iron salt with sodium hydroxide NaOH to form the ferrous hydroxide suspension. Then the sodium salt of the third anion is added, and the suspension is oxidized by stirring in air. For example, carbonate green rust can be prepared by mixing solutions of iron sulfate iron 2 sulfate and sodium hydroxide, then adding sufficient amount of sodium carbonate sodium carbonate solution, followed by the air oxidation step. Sulfate green rust can be obtained by mixing solutions of iron 2 chloride 4H2O and NaOH to precipitate iron 2 hydroxide. Oxide then immediately adding sodium sulfate sodium sulfate and proceeding to the air oxidation step. A more direct method combines a solution of iron sulfate iron 2 sulfate with NaOH, and proceeding to the oxidizing step. The suspension must have a slight excess of iron 2 sulfate in the ratio of 0.5833 Fe2 plus for each Ho minus for the green rust to form, however, too much of it will produce instead an insoluble basic iron sulfate, iron 2 sulfate hydroxide, O2 NH2O. The production of green rust is reduced as temperature increases. Topic. Stoichiometric Fe Fe methods 
An alternate preparation of carbonate green rust first creates a suspension of iron hydroxide iron 3 hydroxide in an iron chloride iron 2 chloride solution, and bubbles carbon dioxide through it. In a more recent variant, solutions of both iron and iron salts are first mixed, then a solution of NaOH is added, all in the stoichiometric proportions of the desired green rust. No oxidation step is then necessary. Topic: Electrochemistry. Carbonate green rust films have also been obtained from the electrochemical oxidation of iron plates. <laughs>